Hi, I'm Claire Ash and I'm a painter. What interests me is a kind of combination between geometry and very structured spaces um, in connection to a very loose painterly style. So I like it to have a little dialogue. I like the paintings to be very painterly and loose, flowing fluid, but I also throw in some geometry and just and sometimes I like it when there's just a, just a little tension between the two. I paint um, kind of a technique that's called staining. So I'm pouring or brushing the acrylic paint, very fluid acrylic paint, into um, ungessoed canvas. But then I create um, a panel, a shape panel. So it's a little bit of a sculptor in me too. And then it's stretched over the panel and those kind of need to be big. So here is an example of one of my paintings um, that actually is shaped and it's fairly big. I'd like to make it bigger, but this is the maximum size that fits into my car for now. Yeah, so this is, I, I really like the painterly quality and the fact that uh, the shaped panel that the canvas is stretched on takes the painting out of the rectangular frame. Most of the time I'm doing watercolors on my dining room table. And then some of the times I come into the studio and I paint here and it, the contrast is good because it feels very different being here then and it's okay to be home uh, for me. I'm fortunate that way, but it, it is very different. I'm going to say the biggest change that the pandemic has that has occurred is there is a change in color. So for me, color is very express is the most expressive aspect of art that's how i express myself <laughs> after the pandemic i went back to blues and more grays and actually really dark paintings that i'm calling nocturnes and it doesn't have to be gloomy it could be mysterious it could be magical dark colors can be all kinds of things those were the colors I felt at that moment. I have an earlier series called the Tideline series, and there's an example of it right there. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just creating a grid, except instead of vertical, horizontal, it's everything's diagonal. And for some reason, I went back to that um and these are my newest work now the the diagonal grid became a diamond but it is still the same thing it's just simplified i kind of saw these almost as boats and like a night like a boat with its reflection and kind of sailing at night and I'm very happy with the small watercolor there. I, for me, that's really resolved. This one I'm still working on. How will you know when it's finished? Oh, I'll, I'll know. <laughs> Just. I always like to have some books in the studio that um, inspire me. And as I paint, sometimes I will look at them. And when I'm painting, I will often look at them uh, for actually how the artist uses color. And the book that I always, there are quite a few of them, but the book I always gravitate to is this book on paintings by Helen Franklin Tower. So, and I love the painting on the cover. Well, it has been very tumultuous times. Um, and it has been difficult, but for me, art making is really centering. So even when things seem to be spinning out of control in the real world, um, 
I find my part very centering and hopefully they're also centering for other people who look at them.